hello viewers welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is thyroid storm uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share this video for more information uh, and uh, to support this channel as well and if you need more information you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, alternatively you can uh, click the link in the description uh, to visit the website now I'll come to the topic what is thyroid storm you know a thyroid storm is a life-threatening health condition and uh, it is associated with the untreated and uh, undertreated hyperthyroidism now during the thyroid storm an individual's heart rate its blood pressure uh, body temperature can soar to dangerously high levels you know and uh, without uh, emergency treatment uh, emergency prompt and aggressive treatment thyroid storm is often fatal you know the thyroid is a small butterfly shaped gland and uh, it's located in the middle of your lower neck and the two essential thyroid hormones are produced by the thyroid they are uh, triartothyronine and uh, thyroxine T3 and T4 and uh, these hormones control the rate at which every cell in your body works for example your means your metabolism you know and if you have hyperthyroidism your thyroid is producing too much of these two hormones and this causes all of your cells to work too quickly for example your respiration rate your heart rate will be higher than the normal and uh, you may even speak far more quickly than uh, you usually do you know the second thing is what are the causes of uh, thyroid storm well the thyroid storm is rare it develops in and people who have hyperthyroidism but are not receiving appropriate treatment you know and this condition is marked by the extreme overproduction of two hormones t3 and t4 and, uh, and by that uh, thyroid gland you know and uh, uh, everyone who is uh, with the hyperthyroidism will not suffer this storm you know and uh, uh, the causes may include like uh, severe uh, undertreated hyperthyroidism or uh, uh, undertreated uh, untreated high overactive thyroid gland you know and infections which are associated with hyperthyroidism and the people with the hyperthyroidism may develop uh, thyroid storm after experiencing uh, trauma or surgery or severe emotional stress or stroke or diabet um, diabetic um, uh, ketoacidosis you know or uh, congestive heart failure or pulmonary embolism you know the next thing is what are the symptoms of a thyroid storm well the symptoms of the thyroid storm are similar to those of uh, hyperthyroidism but they are more sudden severe and extreme and the symptoms are often uh, debilitating uh, which is why people are uh, with the thyroid storm I might not be able to like uh, seek care on their own you know and the common symptoms include like uh, a racing heart you know like tachycardia which means that heart rate is uh, more than 140 pe beats per minute and atrial fibrillation you know high fever persistent sweating shaking agitation restlessness confusion diarrhea and uh, maybe unconsciousness you know so these are the signs and the symptoms the next thing is how do the doctors diagnose when individuals with the hyperthyroidism who experience any symptoms of thyroid storm are typically admitted to emergency room and if you suspect you or someone around you has a thyroid storm uh, like symptoms you know you should call emergency services or ambulance straight away and uh, the people with the thyroid storm generally exhibit an increased heart rate as well as the high top pressure number you know 
like systolic blood pressure you know and uh, a doctor will measure your thyroid hormone levels with the blood test and uh, thyroid stimulating hormone uh, its levels tends to be low in uh, hyperthyroidism and thyroid strong okay so the normal value of the TSH range from 0.4 to 4 uh, like uh, and uh, uh, T3 and T4 hormones are higher than normal in people with the thyroid strong you know now what's diagnosed then what are the treatment options is uh, the next step you know you know thyroid storm develops abruptly and all of a sudden and affects all systems of the body and the treatment will begin as soon as thyroid storm is suspected and usually before the lab results are ready you know and uh, antithyroid medication like uh, uh, PTU or uh, tapazol, you know, they will be given to reduce the production of these hormones. And uh, hypothyroidism requiring ongoing care, you know, and uh, the people with the hypothyroidism may be treated with the radioactive iodine, which destroys the thyroid or uh, a course of drugs to suppress the thyroid for, uh, function temporarily, you know. And the pregnant women uh, who have hyperthyroidism can be treated with the radioactive iodine because it would harm the unborn child, you know. So in case of pregnancy, it cannot be treated with the radioactive iodine, you know. And in those cases, the woman's thyroid would be removed surgically. And the people uh, should avoid taking iodine in, uh, in lieu of medical treatment as uh, this can worsen the condition, you know. And if your thyroid is destroyed by radioactive iodine uh, treatment or removed surgically, you will need to take the synthetic thyroid hormones for the rest of your life. Now, what's outlook? Our prognosis, you know. Well, the thyroid storm requires immediate, aggressive emergency medical attention. And uh, if it's left untreated, the thyroid storm can cause congestive heart failure and the patients may also experience like fluid filled lungs okay so this is a uh, it needs immediate treatment you know and the chances of survival uh, uh, after the thyroid storm increases if you quickly seek medical attention and uh, related complications may be lessened once your thyroid hormone levels are returned to the normal range Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. Goodbye.